hello family so i want to come on here real quick and just talk about the events that are taking a place in america right now with the i would say the storm at the capital but also to check on um everyone how are we doing in terms of what's taking place and is this triggering um for some of us i know for me in particular and i'm pretty sure many people of color we're triggered by this this um, narrative, not narrative, but this reality of white privilege. Um, as a black woman um, living in America and living as a social worker and seeing the system, I've seen many injustices that happens not only to myself, but the, to, to the people around me that I work with. And I think sometimes, not sometimes, I know for myself that I, I sometimes shy away from this topic, even though topic of race relations, because um, I've seen at a very young age how speaking up can um, make you be labeled as either the extremist or or another favorite one, the angry black woman. Um, so there's so many um, labels that that's put on, I would say, black people when we want to talk about our basic decency that we want to live to live in a society where there's equity, to live in a society where my children don't have to worry about just leaving the house. There's so many things that we are not as privileged because we are people of color. So um, I want to talk about something that triggered me today um, and also provide some healing tools that I use in a hope that has sparked you to unplug and tap into your own healing tools. Um, so something that triggered me today was when I saw pictures of people just storming the Capitol. But in particular, there was one, this one white lady that was crying and a reporter was asking her, um, what's going on? She was like, I was about to get in the Capitol building and, and they amazed me. And um, she, she said her name and where she's from and how this is a revolution. I'm like, wow, um, this is very striking because you get to walk out and tell your illegal activities very loud and proud while I, as a black woman, um, 2019 August 8 was arrested arrested um for trespassing walking on the sidewalk in New York City literally walking on the sidewalk in New York City um I was arrested because according to the security guard and the police officer I should not be walking on the sidewalk because it's a stock exchange building is a building that's federal property and I can't walk by the building. While there was no uh, visual signs, it is a private property, do not walk here. There was no, um, any indication that this is some, this is a restricted area that you cannot walk in that vicinity. Um, so anyways, I was arrested. Um, how I felt the fought fight the case was um, I gathered all the evidence. I was on my way to 280 Broadway to get my vending license and I saw that sidewalk on the left left side as a shortcut to avoid tourists and um, I got my vending license the next day. I also show the show my student ID as a PhD student. I sent my lawyer an email of like an essay not an essay, like a paragraph that who I am, a PhD student, um, my business, that I'm a business owner, here's my website, um, and um, I work with schools, I do mental health consultation. So I, I sent her all of that and also, you know, some just documentation of who I am, just personalize who I am as a person. And like, you know, I, I have no business to want to invade the stock exchange, which I didn't know that was even stock exchange building. And, um, they wanted to give me a plea deal. And I was like, hell no, I'm taking a plea deal. I think it was like one year probation. And um, I was like, no, I'm innocent. And 
they because I guess after I presented that evidence and personalized myself and who I was, then that's when they dropped the case and um it was no probation, nothing of that nature. It was just drop drop the case. And my lawyer even said that that was one of the stupidest case she had ever <laughs> tried. Because clearly I was lost. Um uh, that's something that I was intentionally doing. So I guess what made me cry and what triggered me is that here's this white woman and the many white men and women that get the get the privilege of doing illegal things and not be questioned and not even be arrested. And here I am as an um, a regular citizen, man in a business, and you know, I get arrested. So it goes to show you there's two Americas. There's one America for black people and one America for white people. And the one for black people is at a, a, a vast disadvantage. And it's easy for us to go back into a space of hopelessness. That's the same old story. And we are powerless. And um, those feelings do, do come up. I'm going to be honest. And I'm reminded. I'm reminded. I'm reminded that I am not that event. I am not what, the, you know, whatever the society tried to, I would say, still in our minds as black queer people of color um and i go back into my healing tool so healing tool so let's pause for a moment so for anyone who are triggered by these events in, in particular my brothers and my sisters um and you know real allies i invite you to do what you need to do to care for you because we're going to fight the fight you know humanity is being rebirthed and everybody has a role to play and know your role own your role and do that but in more importantly be that so my role that i'm committed to is self-care wellness healing i mean healing these generational traumas and live in purpose and helping as many beings and souls that I can to do the same, heal these traumas and be the best they can be in their lifetime. So the biggest thing that you can do for yourself right now if you're being triggered is unplug and take care of you. Self-care is self-love. And self-care may look like shutting off your phone for a day. Self-care may look like, you know what, I'm gonna write in my journal self-care may look like let me get some tea self-care may look like being out in nature whatever it is that fuel your soul that fuel your spirit get into that get into that and live that i mean not it's not an option anymore because many events are going to happen in in our lifetime and if we do not care for ourselves we cannot sustain this fight that we as a collective have to fight for so my message as always is self-care um when it comes on to these triggering re-traumatizing events um i'm going to give you some things that i did today um clearly i'm you know i'm very fortunate to be in nature surrounded by nature so I definitely take some time to sit in stillness listen to music write in my journal, drink some tea, eat whole food, I mean, um, fruits and veggies, um, talk to a friend, you know, I even talk to a friend and I process it with her, um, yeah, and I check on my, some of my loved ones to see how they're doing, so I invite you, as always, when these events happen, to go within, to go within, to be still, and you know, everybody got a role to play. And some people role to play may look like being vocal and being out there, whatever it is, focus on your role and take care of you. And I wanna leave with one of my favorite quotes that I that I saw from, I'm definitely gonna butcher this lady's name or I think it's a man, forgive me. Um, Para Manzana Yoginada and he or she said, change yourself and you have done your part in changing the world. 
that's it do your part humanity is being rebirthed we all got a role to play play your part and as always um you're not alone um i send you much love light peace joy and serenity also i have this song that i that i that i discovered today i'm telling you like everything is just happening i would say everything happened for a reason but here's this song that i want to leave you with it's called inner peace from my center from my center of me please let me feel in a peace from my center from my center of me please let me feel in a peace from my center from my center of me From my center, from my center of me. My heart is open. Sending you hugs. Virtual a hug. <laughs> mm, music is medicine. Tap into your medicine. into your medicine go within Goodbye. Go with in. Unplug. 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 Self care, self love. Much love.